Ubiquiti released a new version of the UDM Pro and Unify Network Controller. Within the UDM Pro firmware upgrade, they released Cloud Backup. So in this video today, we take a look at the Cloud Backup feature and how it works and what you're able to restore. Remember to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video and for more weekly videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyways, let's jump straight in. So we start off on our UDM Pro as always, we jump down to system settings. Uh, I'm gonna show you the location of where the cloud backup is. You go to advanced and you can see the backup configuration just here. Just bear in mind this is in beta at the moment, so I wouldn't fully rely on this 100%. Make sure your cloud backup is enabled. Uh, we click backup now and we can see there that's been successfully done. I'm just gonna change this back to weekly midnight um, I was playing around with that a little bit earlier. Um, so we know we have a successful backup. Now, one thing I, it does say at the top here is this is only supported by the network controller and only backs up the network configuration. Now I know in my setup I have protect and access, so be sure to go back and take a backup of those relevant features. I have done them in the past in my previous videos, so if you wanna look back through, there are some videos on how to take backups of those various ones. And the other thing I would definitely recommend is taking a backup of your network controller. So just be sure that you have a backup of everything. Again, I emphasize enough, this is still in beta. Do not rely on the cloud backup solely. It's good to have until it's fully released. It's not something I would fully rely on. So let's go ahead and do a restore um, of our setup. Just before I go ahead and do a restore, I am cabled in. Um, I have an IP address here, 192.1.182. Um, so what I'm just gonna quickly do here is go to advanced, and then you just scroll down. Um, you just go, well, if you're at the configuration backup section, just scroll up, or if you wanna scroll down when you join the page, you can just go ahead and hit factory reset. So that's gonna go off and reset the UDM Pro. Um, so we'll give that a minute. We'll let that go off and do what it needs to do and we will log back in once it has restored. One thing I would advise you to do is unplug your switch um, from your UDM Pro and plug directly into it via a network cable. Um, it will stop all your devices re-IPing once the new DHCP lease is set up and it just causes unnecessary headaches. So I would probably unplug from the rest of the network if you can. So what I would suggest you do is you go across and check your IP address. So I've been updated to a new IP address now. Um, this is never gonna refresh um, purely because it just doesn't know where it's going to. So I'm gonna open a quick new tab, um, type in the IP address, 192.168.1.1, um, and we'll give that a second to load. One thing I have found though is the UDM Pro, um, once it's originally set up, once it's factory reset, it does take a little while for it to come to life. So be patient, just because the web page isn't loading, mine wasn't loading in the background, just be patient and you can see it's slowly booting up in the background. So yeah, just be patient. And there we go, nice fancy intro. Um, so the setup looks a little bit different now than what it was previously. Um, it says UI is committed to protect, protecting your privacy and security. Uh, there is, I'm not gonna delve too much into it, but there was uh, a few posts I've seen online about uh, Unify taking your data in terms of not what you're browsing, but statistical and diagnostics data. Um, so they've just put all this as a disclaimer at the front, I guess. Uh, so let's go ahead and click Setup UDM Pro, uh, give it a name, and we can click next. So this is slightly different. You can choose if you're a business and then select your business type um, and then select your business size and if you're a personal household user. Uh, then we just type in our details. So let's just log in. So this is the bit that you've all been waiting for. So this is something a little bit different. So this is a selecting a backup. So once you've logged into your UDM Pro account, or sorry, once you've logged into your Unify account, you're able to uh, select your backup. So I have a different couple of few different backups. So these are the ones that we just took earlier. Oh, let's go back to mean to click that. So there's a couple that we just took earlier, um, or you can continue without a backup if you wish to restore from a local copy or however, or if you want to just set it up as brand new. So we can go ahead and say, yeah, I want to restore from UDM Pro. 
Again, it's only the network controller, so you can tick Unify Network. I'm sure the others are coming. Um, it's just probably a, a waiting game, and that will happen. Um, and then we just go ahead and click Restore. And what we do then is it will skip through to another page, and we can just let that run through step by step. So there we go, so this is the next page. Um, it's downloading the backup, then it's restoring the users, the Unify network, and then the cloud configuration. So let's go ahead and let that finish restoring, and then we will have a look at the Unify network to see what's changed, make sure everything's there as it should be. Okay, so once that's complete, you click next. Now, one thing I've realized here is it would be really good if Unify could get the configuration to pick up what the new IP address is going to be. Um, I'm assuming if I flick across to here, it's still connecting up, but I'm basically going to get a 10.1.1 address. So um, there you go, it's just picked it up. So I'm on my subnet that I would have been on, um, so that's fine. But unfortunately here, it doesn't automatically load. So I then go 10.1.1.1, quickly run through whatever's left in the setup. Um, there you go, so it's saying plug in the internet cable, but I'm already connected, so it's running some tests, so we'll let those tests run off, there we go. Next, some of the settings look familiar, and then we're back to where we were, so we are saying restore backup, and we click next. Um, and there we go, we can see the network and protectors restored, I'm going to have to go into protect now and restore my backup file, and same with access once I've um, set that one up, so to go to access you would go to settings, updates and you can see I can start access here if I wanted to so I can let that run off and start in the background and then I will do my restore accordingly. So one thing we want to have a look at is let's just go back and let's have a look at the network. So this was the main thing right so we've done a restore on the network um, so let's see how it's set up. So the first thing that pops out to me immediately is my dark theme has disappeared. Um, not a big deal as long as the configuration and settings are there this sort of thing really doesn't bother me. So let's just make sure the, um, let's just re-enable the dark theme. So let's go to settings, system settings, and we can just turn the dark theme back on. I did mention earlier, if you haven't at this point, you can plug all your switches back in if you are following uh, me exactly step by step. So what we can do now is let's go to the dashboard. Um, and there you go, so my dark theme is now back. So not the end of the world again, as I said. Uh, the main thing are the devices. So let's have a look at the devices. We can see they're all adopted, they're there, they're working fine, which is great. Um, the other thing we wanna look at is the settings. So Wi-Fi, I can see all my Wi-Fi's, uh, my Wi-Fi SSIDs are there, all my networks are there. Um, and if I run through some of the system settings, I'm not gonna run too much, but the main thing are the networks really um, and the configurations on that side. So, so they seem to be working as they should be. One last thing I will say is if you're unsure how to restore the protect and access, again, I've done videos on this, so feel free to pop through my playlist and you will find videos on them. You can see Ubiquiti are going in the right direction with the cloud backup. It would be good to see support with the other applications such as protect and access. But also, as I did mention in the video, do bear in mind that this is still in beta at the moment, so I would not rely on this as your sole backup purpose. It's good for it to be there just in case, but do keep a physical copy just in case. If you've enjoyed this video, do hit the like button and let me know in the comments below. If there is anything else you wanna see around Ubiquiti, again, drop me a comment in the section below. And if you didn't like it, well, why are you still watching? I do have all the links in the description below for everything I have set up. They are linked to my Amazon affiliate, so if you do use them, it does help me out. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.